Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. As always, keep enough mind. Take what resonates. Use your own discernment. Feel free to check out any other video on the channel if you feel drawn to. And thank you, as always, for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your feedback, for sharing your stories, for subscribing, for your donations. I'm just going to jump in, Pisces, see what's going on for you at this time, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Oh, the moon and the sun. Okay. Okay, Pisces, get ready. Get ready. Something is about to be revealed to you. Something that runs deep. It's a, I, well, we'll see. I feel like it's a pleasant surprise, though. But it might be a bit overwhelming. Okay. All righty, then. Okay. What's going on for Pisces? What's going on for Pisces at this time? What do they need to know for their highest good? What's the situation here? All right. Let's see. I got me curious. That could be a side message. We'll see if it comes out in the reading. Okay. But yeah, it's like it's like it's revelation time. It's revelation time. <laughs> That's what I hear. That's interesting. I hear no more hiding, no more hiding, no more holding back. But I, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Now, for those of you asking, I think this is the Arcanum Tarot deck. I, I just realized I saw a comment once asking me what, about the deck, and I don't know if I've answered you, so sorry if you're watching. This is the Arcanum Tarot deck. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, big change. Surprise. A unexpected energy, unexpected turn of events. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Current situation, Ten of Pentacles. This is happily ever after. This is family energy. This is completion. This is inheritance. This is family asset, family home, long-term relationship. Two tens though, so there's something coming full circle. There's something, something, something coming to a completion. In the challenge position, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles can talk about splitting assets okay uh if you've been involved in any sort of drug out process of divorce or anything to do with inheritance or anything to do with custody or or um support there's going to be a positive change and a positive shift to where things will be balanced out okay for others of you this is this, yeah, this is where, okay, that's done. So let's see where everything goes. So if it's a relationship, if it's a, a project you've been working on, if it's something around the house you've been doing, right? This is where, okay, that's done. I'm, com I'm happy with it. It's complete. It went well. Where does everything go now? So putting everything back in its place could be that, right? Or it could be, okay, now that that's done. What's mine? What's yours? What do I have to take away? What do you have to take away? You know, it, it could be that sort of energy. In the foundation, Queen of Swords, yeah. I feel like there's been, again, this is um, sep anything to do with separation, divorce, breakup, end of a contract, end of a bond, end of a commitment of any kind, um, end of an investment, okay? Um, or anything to do with the courts, okay? In the recent past, we have the Magician. Yeah, I really feel like this is a lot, for a lot of you, it's something to do with you had to present your case, you had to make your case, you had to defend your case, um, and that could be actually in court or with some sort of legal individual or institution, but it could also be um, negotiation, it could also be pleading with someone, it could also be, this is what I think we should do. Um, okay. Some sort of honest conversation as well with the magician. On the mind, we have the Seven of Cups. Options, choices, a lot of possibilities, a lot of options. If you're just getting started, if you're getting out of something, this is where, okay, what, are, what is available to me now? Uh, what else, what is out there for me? 
It's also an energy of contemplation. If you've got money coming in, you've got plans for that money, okay, that kind of situation. Or this is something you've been dreaming of and envisioning with the Magician and the Seven of Cups, and that's now what you can start to work on. That's what you can start to, you've been manifesting it kind of behind the scenes, and now you can actually start to invest in it. That's what's on your mind. You've made up your mind, okay? Let's see. So in today's energy, we have the Hermit, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. This is victory after a hard-fought battle. This could also be some sort of, um, I get like ultimatum energy to where this is something you've been dreaming of and contemplating and it's been kind of waiting for you to make your way towards it but you might have been stuck in something else or whoever it is you're dealing with and there could have been either an ultimatum expressed or felt there was the pressure if I don't do something about this I'm gonna miss out on this okay because this is something that was kind of on its last leg or you had this last chance you had with it or something along those lines and that is what has sparked the change and the catalyst for change here where you you said okay that's it it's done I, I got I made up my mind I'm gonna get out of this okay do wrap it up do I need to do and then head towards that Queen of Wands energy, which can be a person, or a different opportunity. Okay, that's very attractive to you. There's very, there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of passion, or, or there's a lot of inspiration. This is definitely something new with the Wands energy. Okay, so someone's made up their mind and they're taking passionate action. Okay, so let's clarify for Pisces. Ten of Pentacles in the current situation. Knight of Wands, passionate action. Someone's taking taken pa passionate action, okay? They've made up their mind. This is leaving a dynamic, okay? This is, okay, I've been here for a while. I've done this for a while. I want to do something different now. I want a different adventure. I want to do something else, go somewhere else, deal with other people. Knight of Wands, I want something new. I want something different. Something that makes me happy. Something that makes me excited, you know? Um, so this is traveling, relocation, leaving the family home, leaving the family dynamic, leaving a relationship, leaving a long-term commitment, leaving a, a job that you've been in for a long time, leaving a way of making money, right? And you're taking a chance and trying something different. Six of Pentacles in the challenge position. Yeah, Five of Wands. There's been tension, chaos, conflict. You've been, I feel like this is inner and outer for a lot of you uh, to where it's like feeling the pressure. I wanna, I wanna be in that other thing, but I'm in this thing and I don't know how to handle this thing and feeling that pressure of making the choice. And then once you did make up your mind, it's like, well, how do I get out of this thing? There's been a lot of chaos. There's been a lot of tension. But this also talks about, again, something that has been a challenge to get right or a challenge to make sure it's fair. There's been a lot of accusations. There's been a lot of throwing mud at each other, okay? Um, especially in money matters, especially in um, anything where it involved division of assets somehow, okay? This definitely seeing some sort of family dynamic where there's been a lot of arguments, fights, accusations over inheritance, or it's a, like a divorce type situation. But it's also a business divorce, I hear, for some of you. So you had money together with this person, whoever they may be. Okay, Queen of Swords and the Foundation, Ace of Cups. You found something new. You fell in love with something new. Knight of Pentacles. Again, you've been slowly working your way towards this. Not taking a lot of decisive action. More planning. More, um, you know, saving. More putting money aside and, and that kind of thing. But outwardly, it didn't look like you were doing much. Let's 
strength. Yeah. You were holding back because there would have had there either because you were involved in something messy and it's like I can't start something new until I'm done with this. Right? Because there's just they're just gonna mess mess it up for me. They're gonna try to sabotage, they're trying to have access to it, and I don't want that, right? This is where you you make sure you don't put your name on anything new until your divorce is final so that your ex doesn't have access to it. Does that you know what I mean? That kind of situation. So you've been preparing, you found something. You met someone, you found a new job opportunity, you found a new home, a new asset, you had a new idea, something you're very passionate about, something you loved. And it's like, I can't pursue it. I'm gonna plan for it. Seven of Cups on the mind, not a pentacles, I'm gonna plan for it. I'm gonna envision what it is I'm gonna do about it when I can do something about it. But for the time being, until this is final and done with, I'm holding back, okay? Because that's the best thing to do in this situation. That's that's what, that's what it is. The Magician in the recent past, the Knight of Cups, lots of three knights, definitely action being taken, definitely change happening, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's been some sort of offer. There's been some sort of positive feedback. There's been some sort of, this could be like the peace offer, right? Whether you're, you extended it, extended it or whoever it is you're dealing with did, or you extended it and they accepted it and then it's like, okay, finally we can move on. Um, or there was some sort of, I feel like for some of you recently, you might have tried, like tested the waters towards the Ace of Cups. You tried to make an offer, open up a little bit, approach it somehow, just to test it, just to see if it's still available to you. And it, it was, it is. And I feel like that was the catalyst. Okay, now is the right time. I'm feeling ready. I've saved enough. I've prepared enough. Or I'm in a position to let that go just so that it's over, you know, because I'm ready to go for this new thing. And I know for a fact that the new thing is available to me. Seven of Cups on the mind. King of Cups. Yeah, this is making executive decisions here. It's like, yep, I'm, I'm either I'm accepting this Ace of Cups because I'm finally in a position to do so. This new, new thing, new passion, new person, new situation, new job. Or I'm ready to counter it. I'm ready to meet it in the middle. I'm ready to make the offer. I'm ready to initiate this that I've been contemplating and planning for and saving for and holding myself back from until this mess was sorted. And if it's not you having to get out of anything or whatever, you came, you met something or came across a, a something or a someone that was like a dream come true for you. But it came into your life at a time when you were caught up in a million things. Everyone was after you. Everyone needed your time. Everyone needed your attention. You could not, you did not have the resources to invest in this new thing. And I feel like either it hung around for a while or they waited for you somehow or I don't know. Um, and you were like, okay, let me just, tr let me see what I can do to arrange everything, get out of these things, push some things back, take some resources back. Because um, you never quite moved on from this. It never quite went away. It never quite left your mind, your heart, your energy. You held yourself back from it, but I feel like you still kept an eye on it. You know, it's that kind of situation. And recently there was either a heart to heart or there was an approach you made towards this just to see if it's still available to you and it turns out it is and I feel like that was like the final piece where you said okay that's it we're gonna be done with this I need to go after that okay made up my mind it's done okay so let's see the hermit the queen of wands and the nine of wands king of pentacles Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is someone afraid of getting caught. Doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. This is also, I feel like for some of you, this is a thing or a person that you were attached to with all the pentacles energy here to where they were intentionally trying to keep you from leaving and they were hoping it would work. They were hoping either you change your mind or they were hoping that they're making it so difficult that you're just going to give in and, you know, not go anywhere, stay there or give them whatever it is they want. And I feel like this is a case of, well, they got what they wanted. You might have said, you know what, keep the money. Or you know what, keep it. Or you know what, whatever. They got what it is, yeah, they wanted. But it's like, that's not really what they wanted. They wanted to keep you from going. Or they wanted to prevent you from doing what you wanted to do. So now they're like, well, great. I Yeah, I got the pentacle, but okay. But I don't have access to Pisces anymore. Okay. You know, it's that kind of situation. What else for Pisces? Queen of Cups, the moon, King of Wands. Yeah. Here's that King of Wands now taking action towards you. There's a lot of people in these cards, so it's a it's whatever the situation is, it's been a mess. A lot of moving pieces. But the bottom line is now someone is finally taking action. King and Queen of Wands are coming together, King and Queen of Cups are coming together. Taking action on something they've been dreaming about, planning to do, waiting to do, holding back to do. There's deep emotion, there's deep interest, or there's just been a lot of planning, okay? That's what the depth is. A lot of investment made in this situation, but perhaps behind the scenes. And now someone can finally approach, speak up, take action with the King of Wands energy. Okay. Empress. Ace of Wands. The sun again. See? See what I mean? Someone taking action towards their empress, or this is you coming into your power and taking action towards your new beginning. Seeing good news about pregnancy here, that's a side message for some of you. But yeah, whatever the situation is, it's been a bit of a mess of either trying 15 million different things and they're not working and then it's like okay well let's sit down and assess what has it worked what has not worked what are we doing what can we do differently because for some of you this is about just trying to get pregnant or trying to have a child um and it's just been a bit of a mess and you're finally coming to a, a place of um the right person the right expert and it could be someone who you avoided going to because it was very very expensive and this is where you're saying, you know what, we don't, we're not going to know unless we try. And it turns out that they're worth their money and they're going to give you the right advice or the right treatment or the right, you know what I mean? Because um, again, this is something you're aware of. You've been holding yourself back from though. You've been pushing it away though because there's too much going on, some chaos, tension, conflict. Um being caught in, in a never-ending situation and it's like well I can't start something new until that's done right because there is this energy of coming back around wheel of fortune four of cups and temperance trying something again but now we're trying it from a better place a better position about that ace of cups you might have rejected this ace of cups or held yourself back from it okay again it's just confirming and now eight of wands Four of Pentacles and Justice, you never let it go. You never forgot about it. And now you're ready to take a shot. Okay, because you have this truth, this clarity, this victory, or you have this legal victory behind you, or you know. One sec. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing making a decision and this is a change that was meant to happen by the way with the wheel of uh, fortune here but you held back from it or you moved very slowly or whoever this is you or someone else you're dealing with 
but it was always meant to happen and that's why you now have most of the knights that have come out in your reading to talk about movement action change determination and allowing for things to be what they're trying to be okay no longer holding back and what's more going in and saying you know what if that's the, the last thing we're fighting about you keep it you take it i just went out okay i do see that for some of you because someone's left there with this big ass pentacle part of my french and it's like i got what i wanted and then they're like nine of swords seven of swords but that's not really what i wanted i just pretended like that's what it's about this is someone fighting with you over <laughs> the cat i heard okay but you know what I mean? It's when people just get so petty and they're like, no, I'm going to fight you to the death for that particular scarf because that's my favorite scarf. And you're going, <laughs> it's been in my family for generations. What do you want from me? And, you know, they're like, no, I have to have that scarf. That is everything to me. And I cannot, absolutely will not move on with my life until I have that scarf. And it's just so petty and it's just so... But you've been trying to reason with them and you've been trying to, how about you have this and I'll have the scarf. How about you this and that? And they go, no, no, it has to be the scarf. It has to be the scarf. And in the end, you said, you know what? Here, with my compliments, you keep the scarf. Good luck. I'm out. We're done. It's over now. That was the last thing you wanted. That was the last thing we were fighting about. It's done. And they're left holding the scarf and they're like, I didn't even want the scarf. Like, I don't, that's not what it was about. You know what I mean? But it's done. And you are over there rushing towards your new beginning because you found out recently that it's still available to you. Okay. So that's what this is. It's a silly example, but I swear I'm sure it's happened. But just so you understand the energy, right? This is someone being ridiculous. Nine of swords, seven of swords. They know they're being ridiculous. Just to keep you stuck. Just to keep you from going. Just to keep you from... You know, just to make you miserable, basically. And you're saying, you know what? No, mm -mm, we're done. That's it. Let me let me go see if that's still available. Or something happened with the Wheel of Fortune where it just naturally happened that you found out it's still available. And that was it for you. They're like, okay, that's it. Done and dusted. In that moment, you made up your mind. I'm going to go deal with this. You can take whatever you want to take. Keep whatever you want to take. I don't care. I just want out and be done with it. And then you're headed towards your new... Okay, so let's see what else does Pisces need to know about this. We have eccentricity. Yeah, I feel like this is someone you haven't been able to reason with or this is a situation where someone is just being impossible. It's like no one's ever said or done that before. Why are you making a thing of it? I don't, what do you want from me? No, no, it has to be that way, or it has to be, you know what I mean? What else for Pisces? For some of you, this is someone who's trying to cost you opportunities, because quite frankly, they're, they're jealous that they don't have those opportunities. So it's almost like, if I don't have it, Pisces can't have it, whoever they are in your life exaltation yeah what i was just saying you're coming into either a big opportunity or several small ones several sources of abundance around you and this is someone who held on for dear life hoping they could tap into those sources of abundance they don't have the right to but they're trying very hard to make themselves a path towards it do you see what i mean and i feel like yeah they'll use any claim to fame they'll use any sort of claim to attach themselves to you or to stay attached to you resourcefulness mm -hmm. you're going you know what i can adjust i can make i can always make more money i will make more money i will make more of this i will create more of that you can keep it keep it but that's it that's all you get you're not going to have access to anything else this is someone who's been very cunning a 
adaptability, but you're going, I'm going to make it work. You tell me what you want. They're thinking, you've started to like beat them at their own game. Because they're thinking, I'll request that thing that Pisces is never going to give up. That Pisces is, is desperate to have. That Pisces cannot live without. That's what I'm going to go for. That's what I'll say. If you give me that, I'll leave. Or if you give me that, this will be over. Because I know they're not going to do it. And you call their bluff. You're like, okay. Here. Keep it. Originality. Mm -hmm. You had a plan. You had a plan. And I feel like you, you, you call this person's bluff somehow. I feel like you stopped fighting a situation and just learned to work with it, which is very much magician energy, okay? And I do feel like it involved you being very original about it, okay? Meaning that's not what people usually do in this situation, okay? Usually people fight to the death. Usually people, you know, go get more lawyers or go get whatever and you just took a very different approach to the thing you just let me look at the situation what i have to work with and you found the solution that was very different than usual very unique very original or just unexpected to other people do you see what i mean they never expected you to do this and it has to do with how you left the situation or how you wrapped it up <laughs> Look at this. These came out indecision and decision. Yeah, you stopped fighting a situation. Someone was keeping you stuck and confused or overwhelmed or being too much, doing too much to keep you stuck, to keep you in your head, to keep you from going, to keep you from making any sort of progress. You stopped fighting that and trying to play their game or trying to do things the way they were trying to make you do things. Because this is that person who intentionally tells you, do this and then I'll be happy. And you do what they said and then they say, oh no, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. But you've spent weeks trying to do what they told you they wanted you to do. Do you see what I mean? They were doing it on purpose. And so you took a step back with the decision energy here and you started planning. I have your number. I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Let's play. Or you started making plans. I'm getting out of this situation one way or another. I feel like you stopped trying to work with someone towards a happy ending or a fair ending. And you just started saying, you know what, I'm going to make decisions. And if I have to be a little strategic, that's what's going to happen. Because I need this needs to stop. This needs to go. Okay, I need to get over there because that's really what I want to do. That's really where I want to be. And I'm not taking you with me. You're not allowed to come. So I need to get rid of you right now, right? That kind of situation. Influence and submission. Yeah. You stopped cooperating. You stopped letting this person call the shots because they were, you, sh you couldn't have trusted them anyway, okay? And this is someone who's very slick and sly it's like seven of swords you know that's not what i said or you misunderstood me or you know to keep you stuck restlessness when you were ready to go but they knew you were ready to go and they try to keep you from going see what i mean what else for faces independence again okay another one you have one you have 11 organization inheritance yep for a lot of you this is over inheritance or this is over money or this is over your resources that someone wants access to you want out of a situation they still want to hold on because they want access to what you have and you try to reason with them and you try to work with them for a lot of you it is family we have ostentation. You've seen these cards. Acquisition. Yeah. This is someone who doesn't want you to move on, doesn't want you to move on from them, doesn't want you to 
stop giving to them they they still want access to you or your help or your money or your just being able to use your name somehow um this is someone who doesn't want you to start a new relationship with someone else this is someone who doesn't want you to go for that better job this is someone who doesn't want you to go and leave them behind because you're about to soar and they're about to be left in the mud because they can't you know everything they have i feel like they have because of you somehow right and if you leave people will know the moon with the sun exactly what was going on and who was doing what and what they were not doing or what you know their shortcomings there do you see what i mean they're going to get caught they're going to get seen this could be that manager that doesn't want you to leave that job because you've been doing their job for them and they've been taking accolades and credit and everything everywhere right and if you leave they can't do the job so they've been trying covertly to sabotage to hold you back to put doubt in your head you know, or making you promises to keep you there. And then it's like, well, no, no, that's not really what I said. This is that situation. And Pisces, meanwhile, you have this other thing that you want to go towards that's a lot better for you. It's perfect for you. And you were holding yourself back, giving this situation time to resolve itself, trying to work with these people, trying to reason with this person. Try, do you see what I mean? To bring it to like a conclusion that's okay, that's cooperation, that's okay, everyone gets something, everyone's okay, everyone's happy. But you've been dealing with a person or a group of people that have intentionally been difficult. It's not about what they were telling you. They don't want what they're telling you they want, they just don't want things to change. Do you see what I mean? And you're beating them at their own game because you're going, oh, hold on a minute. You're seeing the game, you're seeing the pattern. You told me you wanted that, so I give you that, and then you still don't want to wrap this up? You're still not happy, and you're telling me I misunderstood? Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, I see. You're not really trying to reason with me here. You're not really trying to meet me in the middle here. I see what you're doing, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands. And then you're going, okay, executive decisions. Let's get it down in writing. Let's go before a judge. Let's make this official. Let's, do you see what I mean? Or tell me what it is you want and you're getting it in writing somehow or something along those lines and they go that because they think you're never gonna release that you're never gonna you see what I mean and that you're going <laughs> with the chest there thanks that's all I was waiting for here you go with my compliments joke on that. <laughs> but you know what I mean and then they're going yay I got what I wanted and you're free and dancing and skipping towards your Empress Sun Ace of Wands energy. Okay? I'm loving this energy, Pisces. I really am. So tell me what this is for you. What is this that you've had to be strategic with, that you've had to play chess, that you've had to beat this person at their own game? Okay? What is the ridiculous request they were making? What is the ridiculous approach they had? And what is it you called them on, right? And you know what, more importantly, where is it that you're headed? Because you've got this amazing new thing that you've been hoping for, dreaming for, wishing for, thinking about and holding yourself back from because of this mess, right? And now that that's done, and recently somehow you came to the conclusion that this is still available to you, and that's what's kicked things into gear. What is that for you? Because it's wonderful, okay? So I really hope this helps. I'm looking forward to your thoughts on this one because it's a doozy. It's a doozy. And um, I hope it helps. All right. So I'll leave it there. See you in the next one. Bye for now.